Hello and welcome back. We finished the fix Eternity R, so there's no more black and white rifts in the sky of Eternity R. But the, we're going to start with having a re race with Oswald. So let's get to it. Okie dokie, Steve. Are you ready to lose? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why don't you go over the rule, race rules first? I've set up a total of eight checkpoints to cross. The race starts here, goes to the wild tangle, and through the glittering dunes, and the finish line will be the Cave of Wonders. In the Cave of Wonders. Sounds good. May the best racer win. Three, two, one, go. Alright, and next one. There's the next one. And then there's this one, and then head up the hill. And then this leads down here. And then through here. We're dodging all the rubbish. Controller's losing a bit of it. And then the eight checkpoint in at the bottom of the Hey, how did he get ahead of me? Just my luck! It's you! It's my lucky day! That's it! Oswald, right how did you up. get here? Or more importantly, how did you get here before me? <laughs> ah, woo -woo, I win. Thank you, look. Let me tell you what happened. When you beat me to the wild tangle, I knew I had a real star poofy. But as I ran along, I stumbled onto this strange tunnel filling with glowy blue light. It called to me, Steve, and I knew I had to explore it. After a while, I hit a dead end, so I tried to dig a little further, and it led me here. Wow, that's extremely lucky. Well, I am Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You sure are. Maybe you should have tried leaning on your luck for the other challenges too. As the victor, I'll be gracious and say you're right. Well, good job, Oswald. Did you have fun? That's the most important part. You bet your luck I did. And I've got a swell reminder about my true skill. Thanks, Steve. No problem. Now, if you're lucky, you won't need my help with your next problem. And he has now already got a quest ready for us. Whoa, 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 where are you off to? How do you do? Start quest. Ah, oh, hoo hoo, Steve. We're finally ready. Ready for what? A trolley, you know, don't you? Sure, it's a form of transportation. Form of. Are you kidding me? Trolley's a lot more than that. Trolleys mean adventure, excitement. I've been nuts for trolleys since I saw my first one. And now, Eternity Owl, finally ready for its own trolley. That's great. How do we go about getting one? Whoa, gee, trolleys are real sensitive. They only respond to folks wearing the right uniform. The trolley is alive? You betcha! We're going to need a trolley conductor hat. I used to have one, but I lost it ages ago, somewhere in the ancient's landing around the docks. Uh -huh, Think you could uh -huh, use uh -huh, that nifty uh -huh. hourglass to help find it? Sure. Look at them jewels just sparkling up right. there. So we're going to uh, try and find a conductor's hut. Nope, walking into the wall. He said it is. Around the ancient landing. Right, over this direction. Still going in this direction. That's not it. 
and it sits over in this direction. Still over in this direction. Okay, I think it's down the steps. Right, it seemed to be going in this direction. Oh no. Across the water. Oh, there it is. Ah, conductor's hat. Show the vintage to Oswald. Hazewood, I found this hat. Is it the one you were talking about? <laughs> Gee willikers, it sure is. Oh, that sure brings me back. Here, put it on. You're going to look real spiffy. I'll give it back to me. Okie dokie. Now I can get to the important part. Building the trolley and it's home. Sounds great. First, we'll need some trolley tracks. You can make those with tropical wood, plastic scraps and copper. And the trolley itself you got to have ancient belts, plastic scraps, zinc and bones. You'll, you'll have to pick a good spot for the trolley's home and decorate it with trolley trucks. When that are done, come find me because we'll be almost ready and welcome the trolley to Eternity R. Sounds like a plan. See you soon. Right, let's... There we go, we've got, it. We've got the trolley home. Right, so I need some plastic scrap, because it seems to be everything else I've got. So, I'm going to have to go fishing. And we sort of just need fishing like this. We just hope that we find some like that. And there's one of 120. Um, I might do this offline. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get Mulan and we'll work on this um, with Mulan. So we've got we can go to Remy's house and we can pick pick some flowers. So we'll do that. We'll go to Remy's house. There we go. Vent, no quests. That's the one I want. Have I got the stuff with me? Yes. I think I have. I will find out in a minute. Gonna go to Remy's. What did sh crab, shrimp, lobster? There's crab, there's lobster. I don't have any shrimp. Right. 
think I need the shrimp. So I'm just going to go down to the beach and hope that I can catch them. Oh. See if I can just pick two out of my uh, chests. Let's see if that works. I think I might do that. So let's go up here. See if that works. <laughs> Hopefully it will. Yep. Done the job. You're all the ingredients. Sure Wonderful. We're almost ready to eat. Are you hungry, Steve? Well, now I am. I thought that you might be. Next, everyone will work together to make the seafood boil. Then we can taste it and share how we feel about each of everyone's techniques. Amazing. It's ready. Give it a taste, Steve. So, how do you like the seafood boil? Each cook contributed something to the flavours. It was real tasty. Let me see if I can now identify each villager's contribution. I think Mike's responsible for the weird punch I tasted with some of the veggies. Weird but good, like it's sourness that makes all the other flavours pop. I noticed that too. It tastes like fermented to me. But how did he ferment things so quickly? I think that's just Mike's special skill. I think Anna is responsible for the way the potatoes were prepared. They're all cut into flat planks, but why? Well, Anna mentioned that she always she wanted folks to be able to make sandwiches out of the seafood broil using potato planks. Strange, given that the potatoes are still boiled, but an interesting attempt. I think Christoph is responsible for the portion that got served on the bed of ice shavings. That's got to be Christoph, right? Hmm. He said that he, a chilled meal would be refreshing in the summer. You know what? Can't blame him. That does sound like an interesting idea, if not traditional. So overall, that was really tasty. But I could see how they all still a little new to this. Compared to the food I've tried to, at your store, they aren't there just yet. 
But with a few more lessons, they will. I see. The next step is for them to make their own individual meals. Then we'll be able to pick the winner. Cool. What does the winner get? I'll advertise their dish at my store. But for that, I'll need some help. Could you build me a sandwich bowl? And we'll need some chalk too. You can make some from scratch using eggshells and flour. Whoa, we've never seen that before. Well, since you're having a culinary oh contest, I thought it'd be fun to try and make some non food items with from food too. I'll be back in a flash. So long. So I just need some hardwood. That's easy enough. How many? 20. So I'm going to start up here. No, nothing in that corner. And there's one. Is that another one? Nope. There's a piece of wood. Nope. Nope. Oh, all of these were hardwood. There's a second one. Okay, it might have to be a trip down to this one. I'm just going to check in this corner. Uh, here's a few more. There's seven. There's another one. Eight. And I have seven still. Um. Again, and we're going to go into this corner over here. There's another one, so just over halfway now. There's a few here. That's going to be soft wood here. Um, right, so let's check it down this tree. That's some soft wood. That's fine. Just check, double check this corner. Right, that's all okay. We've got this tree here, there's five more to go. That's one. Check around this one, that's soft wood. And that was the controller having a brain to itself. Nothing around that tree. Nothing around that tree. Nope, not that tree. Nope. Oh, we've got some here. Okay. I'm just going to double check. 
into this bit. And I just need one more. I'm trying to get to it now. There we go. Alright, so then let's go and craft the sandwich board. So let's go to the crafting table. Crashing into everything again still. There we go. Uh, there we go, sandwich board. Make that. Oh dear. Oh dear dear dear. Right, okay, return to Remy's house. the door. Give her the sandwich board. There you go, one blank sandwich Why, board. Thank you. You're just in time. The dishes are hot and ready to be tasted. Awesome. What's on the menu? Huh. Well, Mike made some okra soup. Anna worked hard on her fish caroli. And Christoph has some beignets waiting for you. Ooh, they all sound good. Don't they? Of course. But before you dig in, we should take a photograph of each dish. Just let me know. Let me just put them out. Okay, so we're going to take photos of them anyway. Then we can taste the meal and decide a winner. Oh, all right. I'll make sure your photographs get used to advertise the winning dish. Don't be a stranger. Take a picture of everyone with their meals. Come on, Christoph. There we go. Right. Right. right let's eat all of them. Listen to Remy and Tiana react to the contestants. In my expect, uh, expert opinion, what it is, well, the soup should be gentle, simmered to bring out all the delicate flavours. Yes, I can smell them already. What about fish crayoli? That's all about the cooking time. It's so easy to overcook fish. Don't I know it? And beignets? They need to be light and fluffy so that the sweetness isn't too much. Talk to each contestant. Hi! Hi Christoph, what can you tell me about your beignets? They were surprisingly cold in the centre. <laughs> well, you know me, I'm all about ice and ice cream is the tastiest form of ice. I wanted to see if I could combine them. That turned out deliciously. 
Have you ever heard of a baked Lassner before? <laughs> no. Nope. Well, I'm definitely impressed, and I'm sure Anna will be too. Keep up the good work. See ya. Good to see you, kid. Here to congratulate me on the winning dish, I presume? <laughs> well, I'll gracefully accept. I'd like yes. to thank my smoky yes, yes, pool yes, yes, yes. for being an eternal inspiration in Tiana for her excellent guidance, even if I didn't need it. Whoa, let's not get over ahead of ourselves. I haven't decided to win it yet. You haven't? What was some of the inspiration behind your variation on the opera soup? <laughs> Just some good old Mentros Mostropolis oh, <laughs> spice mixes. Kicks it up a little and gives it a nice tang that says, I've been marinating in the sun for three weeks. Um, that's something. Still, not too bad. See you in the funny papers. Uh -huh. That's amazing. It smells wonderful. Right. I know, right? I also sent my head spinning when I took a sniff. Which spices did you use? <laughs> All of them. No wonder the scent is strong enough to pick me up. If some of the spices make it good, then more of the spices will make it great, right? Oh, well, it tastes pretty good for having every single spice on it. Yes! I'm so glad you liked it. Well, I think I need to consider the best dish mm. now. While you do that, I'll ask Tiana to teach me about New Orleans sandwiches. Ow. She said there's some special ones that are famous there. That's a great idea. Thanks for sharing your dish, Anna. Ooh, thanks. Talk to Tiana about the contestants' meals. I see. Ready to pick a winner? I think so. Each of the dishes were tasty and interesting, but if I had to pick one that stood out, I'd pick Christophe's beignets. What was special to you about Christophe's beignets? Christophe's interest in cold food was clear, but I think he just invented a Cajun-based baked Alaska. <laughs> At baked Louisiana? Oh dear! <laughs> exactly! That's what makes cooking so fun. I was surprised at the final flavour of each dish too. Sometimes you take a chance and it all works out. Why don't you go tell the winner now? Oh, and here's the sandwich board with Christoph's winning dish on it. Sure, I'll put the board up in front of your restaurant once I've spoken to the winner. Come back soon. Oh, oh yeah, hey. sorry. Got some good news for you, Christoph. You win. Really? Thanks, Steve. I can't wait to have Anna try my beignets. Was Anna your motivation for the whole, this whole contest? <laughs> yeah, I've never really gotten into food the way folks like Tiana and Remy have. Growing up in the woods, you learn to like pretty simple stuff. Whoa. But Anna loves all sorts of food, so I wanted to make her something special. I really appreciate it. Place the sandwich board in Tiana's place. Head near Tiana's place to listen to her congratulate Christian. Oh. If I'd known I had to come all the way over, I probably would have just done it. looking mighty fashionable today. I'm going to tell Christoph how special his dish was. Would you like to join me? Sure. Come back soon. And Christoph's on his way now. Yay! Oh. Christoph, I have to say you did something with beignets I never dreamed of. That cold hot pairing was so delicious. It was delicious. It was a bit of a risk. I'm glad it paid off. There's something I need to oh. talk to you about. Well, I think that wraps up your contest. How are you feeling? Well, I could do with a tall glass of iced tea. 
but I'm as pleased as punch. It was so nice to see other villagers connect with some of my new favorite New Orleans dishes. There's a lot to love there, more than you can imagine. So what's the plan now? Well, I want to write down some notes about the whole contest, just a few ideas in case I want to do this again. But before that, I was going to have a little fun. Excellent. What you'll do? Oh, I want to go sailing with Moana, do some tastings with Remy, and go spend some time with Lily, little Louie. And after that, well, let's just say I want to bring a classic New Orleans tradition to the villa. Oh, exciting! Uh-huh. Thanks again, Steve. Evening, y'all. There we go. Right. So I've now got to do the art of fun. Uh, fish for 118 pieces of scrap I've got to get Mushu up to level 10 and Tiana up to level 10 as well so I've got a few bits and bobs to do offline which I can enjoy as well as doing the um, um, tasks so I've got some stuff that I can crack on with and um, enjoy so um, I'm going to leave this episode here um, thanks for watching um, this video um, there's done quite a bit actually we've done Jafar in the previous episode we've had a race with Oswald completed Tiana's so yeah I'm going to play offline I'm going to do a bits and bobs offline to try and get us ready for the next lot of quests um, Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe, or comment, or do whatever you can to support the channel. Um, and like always, I will see you real soon.